am making a mess because I'm redoing my furniture to make it look more natural and elven. I guess I said elven. I took apart, I'll post a picture of the bookshelf or it was an entertainment center with, you know, bookshelves and I was like, I'll post a picture of what it looked like beforehand. <laughs> this is what it looks like right now. A mess. So what I'm doing, I'm taking this very square, boring bookshelf and I'm cutting it up and I will saw it and I'm trying to give every every square part of this, which is pretty much every single line, um, every straight line is going to become wavy to make it look like it's more natural. And on these bookshelves, you know, I'll do the same thing here in the front, but these ones right here, I really want to make it look like they're um, uh, real wood, like a, um, a what's the word I'm trying to think of, like a branch or something that's, that's holding together. So I tried it with plaster. I'm really not digging the plaster. I, I want to use the wood putty, like the filler for the holes, this wood, wood putty. What do they call it? Plastic wood. There you go all-purpose wood filler. However, it's not just a filler. You can also shape things with it and you can sand it down once it gets dry and it's pretty durable. So I think I'm going to go get some more of that and then do that with all, all of these edges here. So all the way around and make it come out so it's three-dimensional and look like it's wood. Um, and I cut the top off this thing. This had a huge, it was just as tall as these are. And that right there is the top down here. And I think I'm gonna leave it upside down and cut the sides off. And I'm going to make this into a dog bed for all of our small dogs. You see my big dog has, has taken my chaise. That's now her throne. I don't get to use it, but she does. But the small dogs, uh, I'd like to give them a place to lay that's right up against the window. So. That's what I'm working on right now, and it's going to take me a while. I have finished carving and sanding, and I started painting, and it looks so cool, so I had to make another video and show you. So this is the, the carved version, you know, with all the edges. And so I just started painting with this chalk paint, and... I'm not going for perfection, I'm going for aged. And I freaking love it. It's so cool. So cool. So um, I've got this color chalk paint and I bought a darker color right here to go over it um, as an accent. So we'll have this initial tone and then this color and then this color. My goal now is to create a tree that goes in the middle of the shelf and this little table. So I'm going to create a tree right here. What I'm using is lumber or um, the leftover pieces from this that I took off when I, when I cut the whole thing in half and um, a corner shelf. So this shelf is going to go up here, as you see in the corner and I will create a tree stump around it and then up towards the top and I'll, the cats will have a little place to sit up there and then I'll have branches going probably two uh, big ones and then a few small ones using PVC pipe and the joints and to create the stump I'm going to be using um, this wire it's almost like a chicken wire and um, this uh, foam. That way the cats can't destroy it because they're going to try. Um, yeah, so the only thing I'm not quite certain how I'm doing is making the branches sturdy enough for when the cats start walking on there because they will and there's no way that I can stop them. Um, I don't want the whole thing to come crashing down. So 
I'm gonna have to um, saw the the pieces of wood at an angle, I think, um, and then attach them that way. That's the plan. We'll see how it turns out. I had finished building the structure of the tree, and it looks like shit. <laughs> it doesn't have to look pretty because it's getting. You see. There are individual branches with PVC pipe and the, um, the bits at the top are anchored in because, um, in fact, all of this is really anchored in because it's drywall. So that's the structure uh, and these shelves are going to be built into the trunk. Here I have, but now I've started to cover it in this foam and I'm going to put um, a layer of um, it's it's foam, it's a really, really thin foam, I don't know what it's called, but that's gonna go over the top of it. And then I'm going to paint it with something to make it um, harder, and then texture the foam, and then paint it over with the same colors that I painted the furniture. So in the end, it'll look like these shelves are in the middle of the trunk, and this beautiful tree is just kind of sitting in the middle. Um, Yesterday, I literally said to my husband, no more projects until I'm done with my real estate classes. Today, <laughs> project. <laughs> it's just because I can only stand so much tax crap. If, by the way, you work in tax law, you have my... <laughs> my respect because I have no idea how you have done it without you know falling asleep or killing yourself um, so this is my to work on project for like a couple hours just to get my brain off of taxes and leases and all the rest of that crap this um, is going to be a desk I'm replacing my desk I no longer want one that goes up against the wall I want one that's L-shaped that will incorporate my drawing table into it. And so I'm taking two of these doors, sorry, two of these doors. They were doors on the entertainment center that I already redid. Um, and right now I'm just drawing the line because I'm going to have to cut them at a 45 degree angle. I've actually also already started cutting the legs so that it resembles what I've done with the bookshelves. Um, these are extremely flimsy, not extremely, but they're, they're really, they're not very thick. And this, these pieces of wood right here in the center, you can even hear it. They're not meant to support a lot of weight. So what I'm hoping is several layers of epoxy over the top of it after I shape them and after I paint them and probably do something in the middle here with like elven language or something like that, because my office is Lord of the Rings themed. Um, and then I'll put several layers of epoxy over and that should, once it hardens, support the weight of my computer. I don't have a whole lot of stuff on my desk, but my computer's pretty heavy, um, where the monitor is. Um, yeah, so that's the idea. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. We're going to see. Uh, so there you go. That's the start. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I got it. 
piece together. And now I'm putting plaster on the bits that I want to match this bookshelf. You can see this part right here. And I'm paying, I'm pouring epoxy over the top of it so it's not going to be um, damaged. Plaster is pretty sturdy, but it's not um, so sturdy that it won't, you know, get messed up. So I am putting plaster on the outside of the desks, um, on just on the sides of this main front section, because what I want to do is carve some sort of um, elven symbol or statue or some sort of image into this, and then I'm going to get clay and I'm going to um, cover this, the plaster, with clay so it'll make it really solid because I'm assuming at some point this desk is going to get moved from point A to point B and I would like it not to just disintegrate. Um, this has been pieced together with whatever I had around the house. I did uh, make a trip to Home Depot to get trim and the legs. That's it. So, and that was expensive enough. So, um, yeah, this is not a professional desk. It's definitely sturdy, and especially once you put the epoxy, uh, epoxy on it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be able to hold the weight of anything I put on it. But like, as you can see, the trim it doesn't necessarily match up. It's not totally even. I used a crap ton of wood putty to fill in all of the gaps, and then I'm gonna go and sand it tomorrow or the next day. Um, so yeah, this is the first stage of these images. I'm assuming. If you're watching this video, like one of five people <laughs> who watch this video, you're gonna maybe want to know how I do these images. Um, so yeah, this is this is what it looks like right now. It's just a piece of wood. Um, so I'm putting plaster over the top of that. Then maybe even another layer of plaster on the top of that. Then I'll carve the image in there, and then I'll cover it with a thin layer of clay before I paint, and before I have to paint before I epoxy. So. There's several steps, several more steps before I'm completed with this project. I carved, as you can see down here, I carved these parts out of plaster and the idea was to take clay and very thinly put it over there. And I did that, I added clay and of course I had to go back over the clay and, and redo this whole thing. And the clay cracked. <laughs> so. Mental note, never use air dry clay over plaster again because it's useless then, it was a waste of time. Going over the pre-carved stuff, I'm adding a, another layer over it just to give it a little more dimension. So I'll just film this for a while.
She's tired of my shit. And of my studying. This is what I used and I I wanted to try the aged wood the different color instead of just the clear and I mean you can see on the box right here that if you pour it onto kind of that lighter surface you can see the the lines and stuff underneath and I guess it's a pretty thin pour I wanted to try it on my desk however the the desk itself is dark so you can't really see anything underneath it. And this tree that I put in the middle, um, I like the way it looks right now, but if I pour more on top of this, um, it, you're not going to be able to see it a whole lot. So I poured, this is, I seriously underestimated the amount of epoxy I was going to need. This right here is um, five boxes. And it's not even up to the level. See, I want it to be completely level with the trim here and this this section right here is dry so there's still a good like half inch <laughs> almost a half inch that I have to add so what I'm going to do because if I continue to add this black this dark wood then it's going to it's going to be really black and not be able to see the tree so now that I've done this first level I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to pour a clear coat over it and I also put it onto my I painted it over my um, my plastered uh, whatever you call this little plastered sculpture design whatever so that it hardens it'll solidify and then I can I'm gonna leave this part shiny but then once this hardens I can actually paint over it so it'll be it'll look exactly like this um, just the, the section around it but um, I just needed it to be harder and then so that I could get it to match the bookshelf I went over these sections that I had done with plaster and painted them as well um, and I also added some of that dark epoxy to I didn't have a whole lot of it left but I added some of the dark epoxy to the top here and just so that it it ties in with the desk better. And now I've got to wait for that to dry and put the clear coat.